Imagine being a young girl consuming thousands of calories a day in the name of tradition and beauty. In our last video, we explored the Mbofa tradition of the ethnic women in Nigeria, where brides are pampered with food to achieve a capricious figure, symbolizing wealth and beauty. Today, we are taking you to Mauritania, where a similar practice takes a different and a bit a stopping point. Why exactly is this practice so important in this respective culture? How do they shape the lives of women and girls in these communities? Stay tuned as we uncover the cultural significance and pleasures of those who live this tradition every day. Hello and welcome to another episode of Storytelling with Bolabi Media, where we uncover fascinating and sometimes shocking cultural practices from around Africa. In this episode, we will be exploring a tradition that is both controversial and eye-opening, the forced feeding of young girls in Mauritania. If you are fascinated by this controversial practice that has been a part of Mauritania culture for generations as we are, please hit that subscribe button. Done? Then we can move on. In Mauritania, a country in West Africa, beauty standards are drastically different from what many of us might be used to. A larger body size here is seen as a sign of wealth, fertility and prosperity. This belief has given rise to a practice known as Le Bleu, or false feeding. So what exactly is Le Bleu? It's a cultural practice that has been passed down through generations where young girls as young as 5 upwards and sometimes below are force fed large quantities of food and milk to accelerate their physical development. The goal? To make them appear more mature, beautiful and thus eligible for marriage at a young age. In this part of Africa, being overweight is associated with beauty and desirability. In other words, perfect. Why being thin is associated with poverty and low social status. When a woman is thin, a man will look at her, not to think of even touching her at all. Because his belief is like touching an inner man's bones. Parents, especially mothers, often take it upon themselves to ensure that daughters meet the societal expectations, convinced that there is no other better way to ensure the future of their daughters. The false feeding process involves strict schedules of the consumption of large amounts of rich food like basi, a drink made with camel's milk and millet. Give it to them in the morning and throughout the day. Another fattening milk is gusi, made with milk, rice, peanut oil, and pure animal fats. When the girls try to avoid this by crying or vomiting, pain is inflicted on them by pressing their toes or wrists between two canes. This can be quite challenging for the young girls, and indeed a heavy price to pay for adhering to cultural norms. This practice makes them sick and also restrict their freedom and mobility as they are often confined to their homes to eat and to rest. However, the societal pressure to conform to this beauty standard is a mess. And this is why. In the Mauritana legend, the ancestors had thought that beauty resided in abundance and before people figured out that obesity was a real disease, it was considered to be more attractive. An obese married woman means she is well taken care of by her husband and other men praise the man by looking at his wife. But slowly and gladly, they're beginning to see the light and understand that beauty is in the eyes of the beholder alone, whether fat or thin. <laughs> The beauty of cultural diversity lies in understanding and respecting the different ways people find meaning and purpose in their lives, while also advocating for the well-being of all individuals, especially the most vulnerable. In reality, changing deeply ingrained cultural practices is never easy. But as the world becomes more connected, there is hope that awareness and education can bring about positive change. In Mauritania today, more people are getting educated, and it's very rare to hear of families force their daughters to become the best. Did this teach you something about seeing beauty beyond appearance? Let's be honest, our perception of beauty is shaped by our concept. Just like these Mauritanian mothers, we are influenced by societal standards. 
Allah just happened to be driven by the social media's definition of beauty and acceptance. But true beauty lies in embracing our individuality, in letting our inner qualities shine, rather than conforming to others' opinions. If you found this video insightful, please like, share, and subscribe to Balabi Media for more fascinating stories. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.